Hi everybody, Boat here with a quick and easy guide to get started with emulating the TRS-80 color computer on your PC. So uh, I'm going to run you through everything you need to get going, hopefully as soon as possible. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need MAME. You can download a copy of MAME over at mamedev.org. Uh, just download whichever one of these suits your operating system. Okay, and then you're going to extract that into a folder and we're going to do something with that folder here shortly. So the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need something called a mess UI. Okay, this is mess and MAME uh, used to be two separate things, but now they work together. Uh, and mess UI is a way to run uh, classic computers from a GUI and not from the command line. It's really, really useful. So anyway, you're going to download whichever one of these uh, you like. I believe that this is only available for Windows, so sorry Mac and uh, Linux people. Uh, after you download Mess, you're going to extract it and drop it into the folder with MAME. So here's our MAME folder right here. As you can see, I've dragged Mess UI 64 here into this folder. and. Uh, this is what you're actually going to run. You're not going to mess around with MAME at all. Mess UI 64 interfaces with MAME, but you're really just going to run Mess UI 64. Okay? But we're not done yet. We actually need to have the system ROM to run uh, the, uh, the color computer. And there's a bunch of places that you can get this, but you can kind of get everything you need all at once from our friends over at the Internet Archive. So if you go over to the Internet Archive and you uh, search for MESS.151 BIOS ROM collection, you can download a zip file containing a bunch of different system ROMs. Okay, so you're going to do that and once you unzip that file, you are going to extract those files right into the ROMs folder here in MAME. So if you are used to emulating console games, this part of it might be a little bit different because ROMs in the computer world are more like the BIOS ROMs. ROMs in, uh, you know, in, on the Nintendo or Sega or whatever are the game files themselves. So anyway, the ROM files go in the ROM folder here. You don't have to unzip them. You can just put them in their zip. They'll work fine, okay? The next thing you're going to need are, is some software to run. So again, archive.org is your friend. If you search for the TOSEC Tandy TRS-80 color computer, you can download a big zip file. I say big, sort of sarcastically, because it's only 20.4 megs, but it'll end up a little bit bigger. These are not large files. Uh, you download these and you can extract them. You can put them anywhere you want. You don't have to put them anywhere near your main folder if you don't want to. All right. Once you've done all of that stuff, you are ready to go, okay? Now, this was sort of part one. Part two is how do you actually load a file on the color computer, okay? So, uh, as you can see, there are a ton of classic computers that can be emulated through MESS. If you go up here and you just search for color computer, you can see the only one that I've actually installed the, uh, the, the BIOS file for is the COCO3, which if you're gonna get one, that's the one to get. Uh, double click on that and you've launched the Coco 3. So you can see here if you've used MAME at all this is a very uh, this is a very familiar screen and you're greeted with this screen. Okay so this lets you know that you have successfully loaded the Coco system ROM and you are ready to load some software. To do that you go up to media and you select a floppy disk and you hit mount file. And uh, as you can see here, I've got the TOSEC Coco collection here uh, in a separate location. And I'm going to double click on the disk folder. And uh, why don't we pick a real classic? How about uh, Canyon Climber? Okay. So from here, what you're going to do is you're actually going to do a hard reset. And that's just going to make sure everything is okay. Okay, that's going to make sure that the, the disk is mounted correctly and everything. And then you need to know the name of the file that you want to load. So what you need to do is, is type DIR. As you can see, we have one file on our disk. This is canyon.bin. Okay, so uh, to load this game, all you have to do is type load M. 
then per, uh, uh, quotes and quotes are on a different place than they are on your Windows keyboard. Uh, in old school computers, it was always shift to load canyon. You don't have to worry about the extension. The disk is going to do its thing. And then to run the file, you type exec. And there you are, Canyon Climber. Okay. Now, the great thing about using MESS, a couple things. One is that uh, I find it to be more accurate than uh, and more uh, sort of uh, useful across all media types than other Cocoa emulators I've tried. But another thing is setting up controls within MESS is just like in MAME. So you hit tab. Actually, I guess that's not the case at all. I guess you've got to do it up through here. Uh, you've got uh, your joysticks. Uh, you can set all your configuration. Uh, it's very easy. Um, and uh, like I said, this is what I use to emulate the Coco. Uh, and it's, it's worked well for me. So anyway, I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me a note in the comments. Thanks very much. See you later.